Hey everyone, Vancouver hockey fans got some exciting news over the weekend as reports started circulating that Vancouver is one of the front runners to being a hub city as NHL plans to finish its 2019-2020 season. Vancouver's chances of being named as NHL hub city received a big boost when Premier John Horgan announced BC would grant the league special COVID-19 quarantine protocols that would allow entire teams to be treated as a single bubble. Now Vancouver, along with Las Vegas, appear to be a front runner to host games despite both being Western Conference cities. If those are indeed in the NHL's hub cities, only one of the Canucks or Golden Knights will get to play at home as either Las Vegas or Vancouver will host Eastern Conference teams. The bid to hold games in Canada in which Vancouver, Edmonton and Toronto made the NHL shortlist got a necessary shot in the arm when the Canadian government agreed to redefine the 14-day quarantine rule for NHL players. This includes testing of players before arrival and throughout their time in hub cities and has also been approved by Provincial Health Officer Dr. Bonnie Henry. I have reviewed that plan and it exceeds the requirements that we have in place even today. It meets our criteria for protecting the community without compromise, Dr. Henry said last week. Some, though, are still skeptical about the NHL season as there are concerns after 11 players tested positive for the coronavirus recently. But as teams convene for training camp and eventually the resumption of play, the plan is to test players every day, according to the commissioner, Gary Bettman, with players being kept away from the community. Players are going to be tested every day, as will the sporting personnel, Batman said in an interview with ESPN's Mike Greenberg. If there's one positive test, again, this will be under the strict guidance of the medical people. That person will be isolated and will be monitoring anybody through contact tracing that was in close proximity. Vancouver appears to be the safest place in the league to host games, especially when compared to a place like Florida, which is currently seeing a surge in cases beyond 4,000 new ones per day. British Columbia announced just eight new cases on Friday and hasn't had a virus-related death in over a week. There are now just 190 active cases in the entire province. Nevada has the second fewest active cases, 3,729, among states with an NHL team, but reported 445 new cases on Saturday, the largest single-day increase. However, the finer details around how that bubble might work should... Uh, well, work out as it's a work in progress, according to Vancouver Canucks Chief Operating Officer. A few things are certain, though. Active players won't be out socializing at the Roxy, spending time with family or signing autographs in public, even after the 14-day quarantine period has ended. The proposal calls for games to be played at Rogers Arena, with one or two other rinks designated as practice facilities. All 12 teams will stay at just one or two hotels, depending on logistics. Arena and hotel staff moving in and out of the bubble will be required to wear personal protective equipment, follow hygiene and distancing protocols, and will be subjected to COVID-19 testing, just like the players and team staff. Follow us on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and YouTube. Like, share, and subscribe.